we're coming at you. So anyway, hey, it's, it's uh, well, it's actually the 18th. I think tomorrow's the 19th. We're filming Tuesday night because I'm always late getting my videos up. He doesn't know. He doesn't edit videos. Uh, yeah, look at me. He just gets in front of I the got, camera. I got Christmas socks on. We're talking about. Look at that. Ooh. That's that's nothing. You should see the Christmas vest that that Barbara's sewing up for him. Oh yeah. So I brought it home. I was gonna do it myself, but I kind of suck at sewing, and Barbara was kind of feeling pity on me. It was it was me. a Christmas <laughs> material he saw, and it already had like the pattern for making a vest. Yeah, it's it's to make a vest. All I had to do was find the the inner lining and. I just need to show you photos of the things he's worn to work earlier in the week. That would really make it something. Hey, you know what? The ladies like to uh, touch my coat. It was nice and wooly. I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> that's scary. And, and I gotta say, I'm like so far behind in videos and I know I've deleted oh, some videos and I'm trying to catch up with videos. And I just have long lists, and and I've just besides work has been really busy. Um, I've had just a lot happening to me. I I brought a list. I mean, because there was so much crap going on, I thought I would read it to you. Um, uh, well, wait a minute. Wait, that's my Christmas list. That's not the problems of the year list for you. It didn't look familiar. <laughs> it has everything on there. Legos City. Who um, are you buying that for? Me. <laughs> okay. Um, a new pair of diesel pants. As long as it's not the list I'm supposed to be getting for and you. And these are the selection of Nike shoes I would like. One Where's of each my, would be nice. Where's my list? I don't know. Oh, that's better. It's on, all on one little sticky note. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I had back problems starting two months ago. That's one excuse for missing videos. Start seeing a chiropractor getting that straightened out. Then I got a cold two weeks ago. <clears throat> I am pumped full of drugs right now. Loving drugs. And, uh, oh, yeah, and then my glasses broke a week ago on the side. And then I ended up with virus on the PC, which every time I would, I'm just a true, <laughs> every time I'd get in to watch videos, I'd get this Xfinity Comcast thing. You've got some bot on your machine, and, and it would block the pictures, and I'd drag it away, and I'd refresh, and it block. And I couldn't, and it would prevent me from typing things. So I couldn't even write notes to you guys. Then on Sunday, I went kind gesture and got my wife a new iPhone 5. And then we, I, we went to the movies, which was really cool. And we watched uh, The Hobbit uh, Part 1 uh, at this place where you sit on like these couch-like chairs. And they bring in food and you have food and beverages while watching I wasn't movies. invited. You were too. <laughs> And, uh, but we made a date night because no one responded. It was great. But, and after getting her iPhone 5 going to the theaters, we called people and everything was scratchy. We got a bum phone. I had to go back Monday night and get a new phone. I didn't even know I iPhone or Apple made anything bum whatsoever. So I'm talking to the tech people before taking it in and I go, I they're not people aren't hearing her well do we need to update the connection to the towers oh no no don't do that with new phones oh you got a really old phone yeah you you should probably do that like every couple months with your phone i would write this down you need to do this we got our phone swapped out that night i came home put in the star 228 and updated the towers immediately the phone stops working i found the tower i lost the tower I'm searching for a tower. I found the tower. I lost the tower. I'm searching for tower. Every minute it would rotate through that. Literally. They said they couldn't fix it. I wanted to shoot somebody over at Verizon. I was not happy. So I had to go onto my wife's old, old, old phone. Yeah. This is an old phone. This is what I'm using now. An old phone. And it didn't have all my ringtones anymore. They were all gone. 
you know? So I had to start making my own ringtones. I was upset, so I had to make my own ringtones. He's lost his mind, people. I, I have. <laughs> I made a ringtone for Christian. lost his mind. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Looking for my 22-ounce bottle of beer. Some people say that there's a woman to blame, and you know, they're all right. Yeah, see, and anyway, that's Christian's ringtone now. Uh, <laughs> I hope you heard that. It's pretty sad and funny. So there we go. And then as I'm working on fixing this phone to function and trying to get rid of the viruses, my hard drive on my computer dies. <laughs> Literally. I didn't, I didn't know that one. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> was just that. And so fortunately, oh. fortunately... I Poor built my own computer, guy. and it has two hard break. drives. It has no. mirrored drives, so I've got one good one. So I got to find out which one's the bad one and get that replaced. But it was just like, and then my oh my chiropractor's sick, so I can't go in them. My work back worked on till September Christmas. So it's whatever. Anyway, well, Merry Christmas, well, happy Happy Homebrew you Wednesday. You can make someone happy by getting their Christmas list shot. <laughs> it's not that long. I hope it's I, only ten I, font people. This is all true. <laughs> I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful week. I I can say one thing that's pretty awesome. My Christmas shopping is done, and last night I wrapped the last of the gifts. Oh, that's wow. pretty good. That's pretty freaking awesome. Let me tell you. Well, that's not true. I, I still have to wrap Christian's gifts, but we're waiting to see which list he ends up on. He might get coal or something, so who knows? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and I really didn't do any Christmas shopping this year because I have the uh, X problem. Nasty. Soon to be over, waiting for paperwork. Yeah. Finalization. But, so there you have it. But, you know, our beer tomorrow, Wednesday... When, when you'll be seeing this, uh, we'll be bottling beer by the time you view this, probably. Oh, oh that's um, good. I, I think I have something to look forward to tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We'll be bottling and sampling our beer with the gingerbread cookies and adding the hazelnut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this should be good. You know, see, home brewing brings happiness. You just have to remember that. I do enjoy it. It brings joy and happiness. And I also want to do a big shout out. Uh, we, we had a fun time on Saturday. We got on Hockey Player Show. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. I enjoyed the best birthday wishes. Celebrating his birthday. Mm -hmm. And Hockey got him on, if you didn't watch, got him on live with Skype. Mm -hmm. And then we, we all did uh, uh, toasts all around. We did shots. I did get sick later that night. But, you know, <laughs> we didn't know that. We did go on to have fun because then we got on to Uvu and did a beer review with SJ Poor and Larmo22 and Christian and I and even Hokey Homebrew was there. Although he didn't have the beer review, yeah, but it was interesting. Yeah, I kind of felt bad. And, um... But he's the only one who had a girl come into his uh, uvu, so... Yeah. Well, and she's a beautiful gal. So and, he had something going there. Yeah, he, and she's a sweetheart, and we all know her. So, anyway... And then my birthday, I got to go to the Blazers game, oh, and, and they won. Oh, went to the Blazers game for his birthday. I mean, uh, I'm a huge Lakers fan, but, you know, Lakers are, or Blazers are home team, so I love them. So we've got some, oh, oh, by the way, also thank you to everyone who has offered to come out and drink that beer with me. Um, I know some of you have offered for me to ship it to you, um, and, uh, but we, quite, quite we the really, you know, appreciate all the thoughtfulness and the heartfelt beer drinking desire uh, to help us with that beer drinking, if that made sense at all. And so... Um, but but that was pretty funny stuff, and, and we appreciate that. So, yeah. so um, we just want to say thank you to everyone, and uh, we're going to go drink some beer here in a minute. So after all of my whining and bitching, I will say a couple things. Mm -hmm. 
here it is, late Tuesday night. I've got my wife's old, old cell phone, but it's working with albeit things that I sing. And I got the viruses off the computer this evening through much pain, pain and agony. And I got lucky. I had another pair exactly the same frames upstairs that I'd broken one of the, uh, whatever you call these, the sides off of. Guess what? The side that was working was the other side I needed. And I made a whole pair of glasses again. Do it yourselfers. Yeah, we can do it. So, part of my list has been cut down. I've still got the cold, the sinus, but a little bit of back, but I kind of got the... Who the hell are you and what'd you do with my son? It's, it's my Christmas vest. I mean, I told you, Barbara was... Barbara's making a Christmas vest for me. Doesn't it look good? I mean... But wait! But wait. It's reversible! <laughs> it's reversible! Check that out, huh? Yeah. You guys like that? Oh, snap. It's all the way around like that. Oh, yeah. Now, it's like, he goes it's from like this. manly, Christmassy camo? Yeah, he goes from his woman uh, music teacher vest to his uh, uh, redneck vest. It's kind of... Christmas redneck. It's kind of Christian. It is. Cri Christian's Christmas well, vest. Well, let's, let's explain this. At work, I've been known to wear crazy socks with my shorts. And it all happened one day. I rode my motorcycle to work and it was kind of cold, so I wore long socks with shorts. And I didn't have time to take off my long socks. And everyone kind of thought they were cool. So they kept saying, oh, what, are you, what socks are you wearing next? So I kept wearing socks. And then they became holiday socks. So, they And now, lie. I was looking for a Christmas vest or Christmas sweater, and I couldn't find anything. I was in Goodwill digging through dirty, dirty bins. And then I find this sheet that has the patterning to make a vest. And I picked out this fantastic fabric, which is semi-flannel, to go on the back. There's gonna be a backing, but Barbara said, hey, we can make it reversible. Why not? <laughs> and reversible it is. Anyway, we're just here to say, hey, Merry, Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. And may you Merry, all... Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful... Ring, ring. <laughs> may you all have a wonderful <laughs> holiday season. <laughs> and we'll catch you the next Homebrew Wednesday. Yeah. See y'all. Take care. Hi there. <laughs> Like man. Manbear Pig looks like a stalker. Hey, I'm uh, a He's hunting down a Manbear Pig. I told Steve about that that video, and he and he started watching. He goes, "Holy shit, this is freaking funny!" Oh, that's a great video. It's my favorite video. Do you have any idea how many times I've watched that video? Oh, that video is so funny. Yeah, I've watched it a few. Yeah, sneakity sneak. And then, and then you talk about his servant, the little dog. That's great. Oh, that was funny. God, that was funny. His, that his little Taco Bell fish dog. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Kevin, I'm not proud. So I'm not proud of that video. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. It is funny. It is funny. That's a damn good video. Damn good oh, video. boy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a classic freaking, that is like what makes the man bear thing. Like, you, you, or you, you, that's it. The little chihuahua. It is funny that z such a large creature such as the man bear pig would have such a little bitch animal as his servant. Yeah, yeah.